Oh, completely okay. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to Casimir and his healing. But yeah, yeah I only got hit yeah. once. Yeah, like I said, the last time you got hit was way back when in that fight with the cultists back in the temple set. Because he was like, "We on crit me." <laughs> But yeah, so now you left off and you're in this room, red room with the red glow. The pe red gem, beams of light emanating from it. Um, that princess uh, is here, right? Yes, she is. I, I asked her if she knows what that is. Um, she mentions that it's a stone of legend. Ooh. I guess I start walking towards it. Okay, when you get there, when you get to here, make a dexterity check, please. <clears throat> Crit success. Critical success? So it's it's scenario. Scenario. Yes, it was. Let me reach my screens here so I have what I need opened. Okay, so as you step there, your foot actually goes through the floor. Doesn't make contact with it, just goes through it. Uh -oh. And you're able to tumble aside, tumble, whatever, to here. As this whole area behind you, you hear the acid pits, each five feet square. Ah, shit. Whoa, look at that. You look quite light on your feet, Cinero. Cinero. Acid pits? How rude. <laughs> yep, sure am late on my feet. I'm sure those acid pits could use some deodorant. Uh, um tis. Rim shot. <laughs> All right. Um, what's this gem look like up close? Okay, well, it's um, a huge cut jewel. Um, it's fast, it's flashing with a fiery light. It looks like to be a huge ruby. I make a grab for it.
No. Okay. Instantly died. <laughs> Probably. And then that sends the tale of Samira the Fortuitous. <laughs> You go to reach for it, breaking one, of the, breaking the beams of light that are emanating from it, which burns you for fifteen points of damage. How much damage is that with all my fire protection? Seven. Protection and resistance. I still take seven. Mark? Yep. Alright. And these beams are ruby beams. Is it like, it, did I grab a hold of it or did I like reel back? You got it. All right. Is it continuing to burn me? Yes, it is. Woo. That's six points of damage this round. And you get three ten points of damage, or half that, um, per run, as long as you're in contact with the gem. Might want to set it down. Yeah, I'm going to set it down. Yeah, so you see, you see the light reflecting from, as it's hitting the gem, being reflected back as ruby beams. The most in the concentrate towards the top. Do you have a, a bag you can... And again, this is another palm-sized ruby. Anyone got any ideas? Put it in a bag. I take my floating backpack that I got a long ass time ago and place this one item inside the bag so that it floats like a balloon. It struggles to get up in the air. But it does. <clears throat> and we have the gym. Yeah, because it sounds like it's ref taking reflected light and turning it into something. So if we keep it in the dark, no reflected light, everybody's happy. All right. I put on my floating backpack. At some point, we're going to find out we're wrong when it burns through your backpack and then you're back. But, uh, you know, that's my guess right now. Oh, well. Oh, so now you're taking measly five points of damage from that one also. From from putting it into the bag. Okay. Ah, this is the most damage I've taken. I was like, measly. 
Five damage <laughs> almost kills me. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm still above half right now. <laughs> Let me check my spells. I've got. I think I've got healing for you if you need. Yeah, two points of damage. You're still above half. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I am wearing this arm <laughs> and the resistance ring. Mm. I'm surprised this thing actually dealt damage to me. Well, Jim. It's a really powerful magical gem. One might call it legendary. So who wants to get this gem identified? <laughs> uh, I do, I do. All right. So let's continue on. Um, uh, I would, uh, Casimir, I would probably ferry people over this because uh, I'm not sure where all the other acid drops are, if there are more. If only we had a dwarf that specifically would be really great at finding these. Yeah, that would be cool, but if you reach your steps coming back, we should be all right. I mean... Uh, oh, you mean... I uh, can't... Oh, you mean traps? Is, is that what you mean? Yes, Jer. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, there's traps. Yeah, between okay. him and where you guys are at, there are three pulls of acid, each five feet. Yeah, I kind of walked in the room and then ended up here. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely no traps here. I walked straight forward, so... I asked him about, like, getting to the other side of the room. Oh, shit. We are trying to get to the other side of the room, aren't we? Okay, you said four. Footing around the pedestal is solid. So, scenario, are we going north? Yeah. Okay, so which which spaces had the Let me mark. acid so that I can avoid those? Let me mark them. Okay. Oh shit, okay. Um, I'm going to search this square here for traps. <laughs> Definitely no traps here. Um, next I shall 
death-defyingly search this square for traps. Hmm. Yes. That there is an illusionary floor. Ah. Don't step here because you shall die. And then I will search here for traps. Whoops. Do the green just mean places we've already found traps or what? Yeah, That's those are all acid pits. And definitely not and definitely no, not traps. No traps here. Hmm. And then I shall search here. Yeah. <laughs> just jumped over two acid pits without even trying. Well, that's what happens when you roll a natural one on a dex check. Like, whoa! Front flip. Somehow walk on illusions. Any traps here? Yeah, it is. That's also an illusionary floor. Oh, shit. Don't step there, gents. Okay, next time I'm going to search. I won't, uh... I won't put the X there. Okay. I'm going to search here. Mm -hmm. Was this your role here, the last one? Uh, the four? Four and one. Yeah. Uh, that's correct. Okay. Definitely no traps here. Yeah, so where these are overlapping, the squares overlapping the hexes, you can get, know that the, all those hexes in the, in the square or parts of are not going to be trapped. Okay. Um, how about... Well, let's say otherwise. Going to search there. Illusion. Oh shit. Don't step there. Okay, next I shall. Search here for traps. Okay, you already know that half of that square is not trapped. Because it is part of the part of the tile that you're part of the hex of the tile or your token is standing on. So I could move into it safely? You, you can move into it safely, yes. Okay. Then uh, I will search. halfway though it does the floor does become an illusion. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's why this grid is kind of confusing. <laughs> then I shall search here for traps. Uh, same as the last one. 3 1. Uh, solid. Mm. I've found a good way here, gents. Um, oh, by the way, this way is good right here. Okay. Yep, basically the entire 
area near the entryways all solid. Okay. Um, I'm going to next search that square for traps. Definitely not. As a matter of fact, all three hexes in that corner are solid. Okay. And you said all along the wall they were solid as well, right? Um. Well, for that corner, yeah, along the along oh. the south wall, yeah. But the oh. corner in is definitely oh. solid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. That, I'm... That I'm going to search here. A little bit of minesweeper here. Okay, three and one. Solid. Ooh, I've found the way forward, gents. Okay, now I'm Yeehaw. going to check this square. Oh, you know what? I should probably... I should probably do this. Just to show that these squares are safe. Yes. So I'm good if I step on the green, right? Yes. Yes. Green, good. Red, bad. Except for where I got the green X here. Okay. Yeah. Same with this one right here. Only half that solid. So I'll just... Eh. And where are you? Right above you or... To... Just go like that. There we go. Um... I'm going to search, uh, so the next one I'm going to search, I'll put, uh, white. Draw a shape, green square with a white middle here. Yeah. And let me roll real quick. Traps. Okay, ten and one. Is it? Okay, your this macro is get driving me. It's got me going bonkers because I'm used to the the percentile roll. Oh, okay. And it's rolling, oh. it's rolling a d. It's rolling a d10 and maxed out at 10, and it's doesn't. And it's at successes. So, oh, check 10 rounds, one success. Okay, never mind. I was starting around the wrong thing. Yes, um, that is definitely trapped, or at least. Okay. Um, yeah, that's definitely an illusion. Okay. Covering over the wrong squares on your rolls. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want me to just roll percentile dice then? No, no, no. I was hovering over the wrong, the wrong result. Okay. Uh, I was hovering over the D10, not the successes. Yeah. Um, okay, so this... This one next. Okay. Uh, whoops. Yeah, we know you're checking that one, so... Okay. Uh... Trips. So eight rounds, one success. Solid. Okay. 
So go green. Step into it. And And the one behind you is solid also. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to check this one here. So five rounds, one success. Um. So this one's one of those weird ones. Oh, that's half and half. Okay. Uh, actually, the the upper left corner of the square, or the hex right here, is solid. And the rest is acid pick. Okay, I'll just delete that one then. And then we'll check um, check this one right here. Okay, nine rounds, okay. one success. Solid. Okay. Um All right, so now I want to check here. Uh, six and zero. No traps here. Not that you can tell. Yeah. And I step and into the space. The As you get, you know, you, you get on the, where you know it's solid, and you step a little, take another step onto the tile. Uh, your foot goes through the illusionary floor. Okay. Go ahead and make a dex check, please. Okay. Ability, dexterity. Boom, boom, boom. Oh! Yep. Ah. Jerry, you don't manage to get to, to the solid ground. And you fall into an acid pit. You drop five feet into an acid pit. Ah! Uh, ah! Oh, the pain! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, there's acid in my face! Damage from... As the acid starts to eat at your exposed flesh and starts to eat. Uh, I feel go like through that... whatever you have. Uh, I feel like the Joker. Ah! Well, that guy in Robocop, you know, the one that turned into the big water balloon and got smashed by the car. Ah! 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 Do you want, do you uh, want to maybe go to the pit? I, I want to try to get out. <laughs> Can I try to get out? It's only about five feet. Uh, uh, oh, so it's an annoying dip in a pool of ass. Yeah, it, it takes two to four points of damage per round that you're in contact with the stuff. It's just funny that you like just get out of it easily. You just always fall. <laughs> so, um, what I'm doing is, um, uh, since acid and fire damage are supposed to be permanent, I'm, I'm lowering my current and total HP, and then noting in my total HP, six acid damage. Ooh, can't we just heal fire, that up? Fire, fire and, and, and acid cannot be regenerated. That's not that they're not permanent. They just can't be regenerated. Right, but that, that includes natural healing. You actually have to use magic to heal it. No sweat. Sooner or later, I'll get it all. Okay. 
Um, any checks that I need to make to get out of the acid? Dex check. <laughs> okay. Uh, dex check. Okay, you wet, you're up from the acid, every, ah, every you know, Oh, God! Oh, it burns! Ah, it burns! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, the, the elf manatee! Ah! Ah, that's, that's like humanity, but with elves! Ah! 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 <sighs> I guess I'll pop my wings and fly over there and grab them out of the fucking pit. Yeah, this might be a good time for me to, to start using the ring to move around. I keep forgetting about that. I want to what that how long he used that ring. It's good for like a couple hours a day, I think. Yep. Don't forget, you've already used it to ferry people up and down the looping freefall. Yeah, that's true. Not sure how much time that took, but it took some time. Ah, my eyes! Ah, it's, what, what, it's melting my teeth. What check do I have to make to grab Jer? Ah, my fingernails. As I, as I, as Strength. I fly okay. My fingernails are flaking off like fish scales. Ah, ah, I can taste my own stomach. Are you serious? No. I don't know how Jer can be in hypochondriac. <laughs> I somehow rolled not successfully at a strength check. Uh, hey, go to grab Jer. Jer grabs you and pulls you into the acid. Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, I'm melting. Uh, uh, I'm fucking melting in this acid. Uh, my handsome face. I can smell my own <laughs> nose. Like the damage right now. I can smell his nose. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for the warning. Thank you for the warning. I'm going to. I think we have to roll a saving throw for a certain set of bat wings. Don't take it away from me, Mark. It's my only defining feature. It makes me so mobile. Well, either that or a dragon scale armor. Okay, take the wings. <laughs> so, just so you guys can see my health bar. I literally am almost dead. Alright. Oh, I should just get out. So now that I see where the pit is, I can find my way to you and not trip over anything. Yeah, yeah. it's basically solid except uh, um, that lower right, that lower left hand corner is basically solid and then the pit opens up. All right, I'm going <laughs> to try to blast my way out of here. With, with Jer in tow. Uh, I'm no longer an elf. My ears have melted off. Ah. It can be repaired. Now, I know the D&G had saving throws for items in the saving throw part of the chapter. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um.
Oh yeah. I didn't import my uh all of my saves. <clears throat> I have all that stuff automated in my game. Even um saving throws. I very rarely use the item saving throw tables. Unless it's called for. Yeah. I just assumed that that they say that they item save with the person, but because there is no save called for for it's acid pit. Okay. Go, had to go and check table to go do it the hard way. Fight um Actually no ten of <laughs> Oh god I can see my eyes. Ah, ah. One eye is hanging out of the socket and is looking at the other. Ah! Uh, uh. Just shove it back in. You'll be fine. <laughs> Did I manage to pull us both out? You will do so, and your wings, though soggy, have resisted the acid. They resisted the acid? I rolled a 20 on a saving throw. I, I don't, yeah. It, it, I'm still confused by what's good and what's not for what. Your saving throw is your last. Oh, okay. Woo! I blocked because as, as, Yeah, because as you increase, as you go levels, your saving throw rolls decrease. So you want to roll high on a d20 for those. And I rolled a 20. <laughs> Woo! Did it get powered up by the acid? <laughs> I can make acid wing attacks. We will pull everyone out. Get one more set of 2D4s uh, rolled for both of you. So you both take four points of damage from that last hit. I just fly to the other side. Okay. We're grabbing, oh, having hold of Jer. Oh, he's got me now. Yeah. Okay. And we're at the other side. Yeah, he's moving over to the other side. To it. Oh, God. Oh, I think I can taste my brain. Um, it's like bulging through the top of my mouth. It's completely normal. Am I missing an eyebrow? <laughs> You're pretty pockmarked from the acid. <laughs> and, and completely... Now, what hair you had exposed is now gone. Well, luckily I had the helmet put on. Oh, 
I can't lose my hair. <laughs> my luxurious hair. Great. No, my poor goatee. Rip. It's gone. Casey here, you would look like if Danny Trail and, and Powder had a kid. <laughs> okay, do I use a spell for detect sneers and pits, or do I just try hold on to it because we need the healing? We need the healing. Now, Kaz, is not sure where to go. He's halfway the side of the corner. <laughs> I can see inside my own mouth. <laughs> you want to try detecting uh, traps from your end, or should I just use a spell? Uh, fuck this shit. <laughs> right, validated. Okay, I'm going to do a detect snares and pits to try to find a way through here. Hopefully I got a b about a fuck ton of experience for that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve checks. Successful. And with all success. And almost dying. <laughs> Okay, so what can I see uh, toward the north of me? <clears throat> okay, so the path along the wall itself, the five-foot path along the wall itself, is solid. Yeah. Uh, how do I do little green boxes? <laughs> Um, go to the draw shape tool. Yep. And then yeah, at okay. the top, you've got two colors. The one on the left is the outer edge of the box. The one on the right is the interior of the box. And if you want it to snap to grid, you hold shift. And then you click near a grid intersection. And then drag across to the other side. And then let go of the mouse button. <clears throat> it doesn't look like you're holding shift. Ah, shift. Yeah, so that green outline I put in, that's all solid. Okay, I'm going to head up that way. And because it is a 10-foot path, but so if you turn to, when you turn to face the east, or to the, other, the opposite wall, um, this whole path, 10-foot um, path before, after the um, south of the north wall is solid. That area. Okay. 
Oops, wait a minute. No, not. Uh. Actually, no, it ends uh, right here. Okay, how do I erase? Uh, you have to switch to your select slash move tool, the arrow tool, and then um, highlight whatever you want to uh, delete, and then hit either delete or backspace. move the whole block a little bit to the left how well does that work how far do I have to move it to uh, to not cover the pit over there that's good that's good because that the pit the solidness actually right there at the halfway point here. Okay, so time to yell back to the rest of the party. There's a there's a way through here. So as people, uh, if people start coming in, I'll explain to them how they get uh, around. You know, immediately turn left, hug the wall, hug the wall all the way around to the, the doorway here. So, who needs healing while I have just a couple of seconds left? Uh, 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 Why? Your serious wound. I can taste my lungs. I'm drowning in acid. I'm drowning in acid. I'm drowning in acid. <laughs> no, you're not drowning in acid. <laughs> How's 11 hit points back uh, make you feel? That makes me feel like almost... acid? Almost an elf again. Whole again. <clears throat> Makes me feel like that. So, uh, I felt enough burning sensations today. <laughs> Acid feels like herpes. What do you know? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> sure, yeah, all the damage is basically repaired, more or less. It's still charred from the acid. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be cool have you lose charisma for that, but <laughs> <laughs> but there, yeah. So you still got some open lesions and stuff like that. You're... And it still stings to move a bit.
most important to you and why there is a phenomenon that people show up at your rallies, you don't see the same thing at the Democratic rallies. Why is that in your view? Sounds like one was pecking at a typewriter. Oh no, that's my uh, laser pointer for the cats. <laughs> oh god, god, get that cat spastic before. <laughs> <laughs> I make them spin around in circles. It's fun. <clears throat> um. But uh, yeah, I'm. I still. I'm hurt. But uh, I. I could. I could go on. Like this. For a while. The taste of my lungs went away. Are we successes with the fine traps there? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I'm gonna put that get that taken care of right now on the sheet. On mm -hmm. uh, my track, on uh, my experience tracker. Yay! Yay. Have to go and checking for the to the chat log for it. It was a good trade for almost dying. <laughs> uh, Ruth got the ultimate experience last time. <laughs> Die. <laughs> last I wonder if you earned a lot of experience doing that. <laughs> you earned well, you rolled um, experience. Never pray to your guy at another god's temple. Well, oh. at, at, at another god's altar. Yeah. Especially yeah. your god is the exact opposite of what the god's altar is about. Second, the god of light and bane of undead. And your Tavis was a priest to a to the patrons of undead. Oh, cool! The um, the new uh, exploration mode shows you where character tokens were the last time you saw them. Yeah, it should show up as a gray outline, as a as a grayed over. Yeah. Area. I I just that I, I I thought that it only showed things that were on the map layer. Well, it shows the map layer, um, as a grayed out area, but it doesn't hide everything back in the fog of war. So you can take a look at what your character has been through. And that's and just see the room layout, not what was in the room. Yeah. If there was anything like on the token layer or anything oh, like that. Oh no, never mind. I still, I still actually see him. It's just he's almost at the end of my uh, uh, night vision radius or whatever. So he looks kind of grayed out a little bit. Who's that? Um, Gallivant. Yeah, that's yeah, within the 60 feet, yeah. No, you can't. No, you can't. Well, we got, your to we got the token on there for you to work on your character sheet. Oh, okay. Well, you oh. can't see me. Yeah, I shouldn't be able yeah, to see I that far. Yeah. I can see all the way out to here. You're also able to see the lighting from... Casimir and Snarl, who both have light gems that give out light to a 90-foot radius. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Yep, that's probably what it is. Okay. You're welcome. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait for that, um... Uh, 
that new tinted infravision thing so you can like turn your infravision red and you, so you can tell the difference between light and infravision I like the idea of using aura effects for that but that just got too annoying yeah yeah this it works exactly like an aura effect except only the controller of the token can see it and the dm of course <clears throat> Yeah, that would make things easier um, because now I've got, I think I have Jared set for, has, have you set for dim light? Extend it to your infravision. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It I also have it, I also have it set for, inf I also have you got visual effect out to 60 feet. Fog out to 60 feet, and then on the dynamic lighting tab, have it set for night, um, night vision and low light. Uh. So, let's see. Yeah, so you're at the top of the stairs here. And you can see this room, which seems to be, it seems to have been... A scene of a great conflagration, a great fire, or something. Something happened here, because the walls are scorched, blasted, and pitted, as if a fierce battle took place here long ago. Rusted weapons, scraps of cloth, and other junk are scattered about. Um, what metal there is is mason um, slag. Or half melted. So it looks like he got a charred skeleton and over the re over nothing but. The ashed remains of something. Oh, Jer, wherever you are, uh, where'd that guy go to? Do you want? Do you mind looking for traps? Oh, hey, my uh, detect snares and pits is still on. So, do I happen to see yes. anything in this? Um, you, if you're looking directly into the room, you don't see any traps. Hey guys, yeah. check this out. Yes, this bed. Sorry. Yes, we don't see any trap within the field of the um, magical site. Nor did do you see any signs of exits. Okay, I'm going to bravely step in. Um, hmm. Going to look around. I'm going to check for, well, I don't know. Probably going to check for secret doors, but I want to figure out where I would look first. I want to check along the uh, east wall for secret doors. So give me two d6 rolls. One for each ten feet. Six and a one. 
Okay, so assuming that you're going to start the south, south 10 feet first, you don't find anything. And on the northern 10 feet where you're currently at, um, and that those two squares there, um, if there was anything, you would have found it. Okay. The same thing on the uh, west wall. I have no idea. Nothing. Looking around for any documents that might have survived the fire or anything interesting, useful. Yeah, what survived, like I said, um, is either half melted to the floor, like uh, a sword is hanging, is a pile of slag, but a good quarter of the length is still up standing there, like a oversized paperweight. Yep, don't need any of that. Okay, what else now, guys? Gentlemen, we seem to have reached a dead end. I want to search for indoors. If that's all right with you, Mark. BRB. Sure. Chair, if there was anything there, you will found it. Yeah, so you don't find anything. Find anything good, Jer? Again, what's up with uh, Sanero?
Yes, what is up? Well, boys, if we don't find another way out, we might as well backtrack. Sounds like a plan. I mean, we got the princess and we got this stone of legend. Whatever this thing does. Not only, that, not only do you have the princess, but looking at the medallion and the marking on her hand, it seems to make a. If you, it seems that the two together make a map to the next location. Her two hands together. Her hand. She's got. She's got like a a, 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 t a strange type tattoo on her hand. I'm not sure how well you can see the one mysterious handout. Um, it didn't quite go over, go transfer the way I wanted it to. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. It's a little squished in the original, but. And there was some kind of uh, uh, medallion thing that. Was yeah. The Prince Medallion that um, basically shot at the Efreet on its own when it was within the presence. Um, seems to line up with that marking on her hand, and it shows a map. To the next location. Okay, so this is a map where uh, it's not a map of the of the um, dungeon that we're in right now. It's a map of outdoors showing us where to go next. Right. Yes, it does. Um. It, yeah. So she shows Shadalop shows you her the mark on her hand. Um. It has a map to the location of somebody um, and to the next location. Um, So there. So as you place the, the the medallion over her marking, you can see an inscription written in the um, ancient languages that you've seen before. There we go. Translate, please. City of Phoenix over the house of Set where sleeps salvation. There speak Atmo Fratin Crete. No, actually, well, let me. I'm just going to copy it into uh, chat. I'm going to put it right here in, in the Roll20 chat.
also there's the word white and a picture of a palm an arrow indicating south and a triangle probably indicating a desert location And you do have a map of the area. And it seems to be pointing is location that corresponds roughly here. I didn't see where you pointed. Because we're at the crypt of Badr al, al Mosak right now, right? Oh, there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it points out to a location right around here. Okay, so if we back, can we back our way out of this crypt, just go back the way we came in? Yeah, basically you... But low crawl underneath um, after some convincing of the princess to do the same uh, low crawl underneath the beams of death in one of those four in one of those side rooms yeah ferrying people from the upper level down to the lower level or the free fall in one from one endless free fall shafts Okay, and if we have to go up or down one of those shafts, I could do the the ring of flight thing as long as I don't run it up. Yeah. Um, and I'll say it'll, it'll peer out just as um, you get the last person up there. Same with scenarios or wings. Done for the day. Okay, so once we're out of here, I guess we're walking. I forget whether we took animals. You got animals.
You got garbled right at the end there. there okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, boys, let's get going. We also took the sled. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Let me turn your volume up. That we took uh, the sled we found, the sand sled, because we couldn't take the carriage and the wagon. And then we, do we have another another one? Do we have another one of each? No. But one carriage, one wagon, right? And like a bunch of donkeys. Yep. And one, and then one sand. You left those all the way back in um, the city up to the north, that trade city. Yeah, yeah, we took the sand. Only the sand thingy. Okay. So you end up going back to the palm, White Palm Oasis. Just as the war party returns, a lot smaller than what was gathered when you guys left. Sounds like bad news. But the ones that do return, even though they are grim faced and they there's um a celebratory nature about them. The prince is there with his father. Prince being bloodied and t telling his father of the great battle that happened and how he how his forces were victorious. So it was a pyrrhic victory. He, you get to a point where he's recounting a tale, part where he and his men were almost overwhelmed, but all of a sudden, in a brief instant, the undead just stopped. And those that could fled out in various directions out in the desert. The others just seemed to evaporate upon themselves or just drop where they were at. Curious what caused that.
And then you guys come running into camp. You've got Princess with you. A little worse for wear, but still has that regal bearing and bunkster. She's a woman that will defer only to one person, and that'd be her husband <laughs> when she's married. She gives out that type of air. Oh, she thinks she's so special. Was she a princess or something? Not just any prisons, a desert nomad princess. <laughs> Okay, so that's that for that. <laughs> um, so you guys are riding in the camp with that. So with that scene, so what are you guys doing? Um. Okay, so uh, we uh, I think it's worthwhile checking in with the shake and say, hey, we we'll got the princess back. Also, there was a guy that had the medallion that looked like your son. That was a little, you're a little late when that one, uh, so now they told him about the son's death, <laughs> about, about the twin son's death. Oh. Carry on then. Um. He seems to be in a better mood than when we last saw the shake. Um, ah, great, great, great. al can be praised. This is a great day. First, the undead army is now vanquished. My son is alive. And my soon-to-be daughter returned. Ah, this is going to be a day of feasting. And our reward. Uh, uh, we'll just in due time, my friend, in due time. I don't know, I'm kind of a money after job complete sort of guy. Yeah, it's not like we lost some, anybody in the way. Can you guys just seem to notice that amongst these people, there just seems to be a person with slightly oldish features. You just realize that he's there now. I am, in, I am reading um, Tenebris' ledger, by the way. So I'm like on top of the wagon of your wagon, just making myself comfortable as I read hey. through the ledger. Hey, you get off of our wagon. What's up? Oh, pleased to meet you. About time you boys showed up. Been waiting. Oh, First of all, good. don't call us boys. <laughs> Second of all, get off the wagon. Third of sure, all, sure, who sure. are you? Well, my name is... Well, I have many names. Uh, you may call me Galavand, the Dashing Madcap. 
the the madcap is something I got I got stuck with not really wanting. Well, uh, I uh, I'll meet you halfway and call you Cappy. Cappy, oh, if you you guys are so you people are so strange. I jump off the close the ledger, put it in its place. Jump off. You see a human with uh, semi-elvish features, bright bluish turquoise hair, pale purple eyes, staring. I don't know. I'm six foot one. I don't know. I'm to who's taller? Who's the tallest? <laughs> he's he's wearing gleaming. Well, uh, armor to be described, <laughs> but it's gleaming goldish in color, maybe. Miss Bronze Mail. Uh, yeah. Intricately designed. He wears a sword, and it, he says. Well, what a mess, mess have we got it into. What? So, yeah, you guys really dropped the ball letting loose that thing. Um, I don't know where you're getting your information from. Mm, indeed. You know, I've been following you for a while. You didn't even notice Oh, so you're saying I should stab you in the heart right now? Uh, that wouldn't actually kind of work. But I'm here to help you on your way. And why not so, show up before? Oh, we're up, Chrissy. Also, things were not that interesting. Things are now getting interesting. Now that, by your perception, everything is over. Oh, well, yes, I am. How to put it bluntly, I'm... Well, this over? No, no, not for a long, long shot. That thing... That fire... Very freaky. Uh... Not my cup of tea. So no, we're not done yet, my boy. Truly, you might appreciate somebody. Who doubles in both the arcane and the sword. To aid you in your quest. It's up to the rest of the group to... Make that decision. Yeah. Hmm. According to the ledger here left by one Tenebrus the Night Hunter and one Dedrum the High Elf, Stacy the Senero, Senero. You and Seniro. Haha. Uh -huh. Is the leader here? Yes. Glad to meet you. Seems. I wish I could say the same. Eh, you'll get used to it. Don't worry, I am not your enemy. I am your friend. Um, not that I can give you any gestures of friendship right now. Just trust me when I say. There is much to be done and little. And, well, very little time to do so. You see, those jewels there. You only have three, don't you? Uh, 
And... Well, L5, I needed to put that sucker back. This is what was done in the, the first time. You know. For... Well... It got fucked up. You know, it was... I actually didn't think it would, they would pull it off the first time. Surprising, actually. What held off this long? But anyway... I have come here in a time of your need to aid you against this vile forces. The undead are springing out of nowhere. You see, that cannot be left just to the hands, to your hand. So, I was sent here to offer my assistance, also I was very, very bored. Well, rest of group. So you're offering your services to the party? Mm, yes, in a sort of, in a way. I wish to join you in your quest. Well, since uh since we've had a couple of disappearances and mysterious deaths, etc. I guess we have, we could use another uh, pair of hands. Nice. Another frontline fighter will definitely help. Oh, I'm much more than that, my friend. You can't be, because I'm there. Hmm. We'll see about that, shall we? So, I presume you have found the, uh, the fourth, the fourth stone's position. I'm guessing. I wish to I joined you before, but well, the desert is not exactly my forte, as you may say. It was kind of fun. Mm. You know how it go. It's not, not easy following people through the sand. Especially the eldest. Chaos going around. But yes, the evil fire spirit must be put at rest. So the land may heal. And the dead may rest. I do have plus one. In... I got a 13 charisma, and that gives me a plus one, two reactions. <laughs> so I'm dashing. He is dashing a snare at the fortuitous. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I'm not as dashing as you? <laughs> Fish posh. I have like a 16 I... charisma. <laughs> oh, well. It is quite impressive. <laughs> I, I, I literally will crack a smile and there'll be a glint that kind of ding off my teeth. Like, that's how much charisma Sinero has. Whoa, okay, just okay. like movies. Exactly. Well, in any case, the land is being scorched, the dead are rising. I mean, to be fair, it, it's a desert, so... It is 
No. Uh, any, anyway, let, let, let us go to the next uh, gem location. Oh, yes. Would you mind if I take a pic, a pic, uh, look, see, at the books you've so diligent, diligently have scribed on it? What? Yeah, yes. Uh, sorry, I took uh, the liberty of going through your ledger. Well, somebody's ledger, at least. You have a collection of very interesting books. Some I haven't seen in ages. Some, one actually is kind of never heard from it, which is strange. All in all. It's funny how you feel privy to our information. Oh, well, it's the best way I can help, isn't it? If I don't know the situation, how would I be able to assist you? I have taken nothing from you. Nothing physical. No, no spiritual. You'll trust me. I will not right now. Eh, I know it's a big stretch. But I can conjure. I am a post trained in the art of the sword and the arcane art. Kind of. See, I have very particular powers that may assist, that might catch people by surprise. It's quite kind of wild when you get to see it. You know what else is kind of wild? What? Dueling an ancient red dragon to a standstill. Oh, really? Anyway. Had to get there's help. Technically, there's not a dragon, but, you know. <laughs> there's been a few dragons. Hey, well, do you think it wise to make an enemy of a dragon? Oh, well, I think we are wasting time, aren't we? The faster we get to... Um, also, are you guys planning to stay for the wedding? That sounded like fun. I mean, we also, might as well uh, stay the night. Uh, it depends if it's a cash bar or if he's just uh, springing for all the booze. Oh. I mean, he better be fucking grateful. So I hope it's a uh, open bar. Hmm. That'd be interesting. I don't remember the last time I went to a wedding. Shall we? And we may talk more, get to know each other. There's only I one mean... thing that I care about. Oh, Jesus Christ, what happened to you? Will there or will there not be vats of acid? Uh, what is this? Poor, this is, poor. This is Jer. What he happened is, to uh, him? He, he got a little pucked up. Aha, uh -huh, you see you see what I did there? Uh-huh. Anyway. Yes. Let's go to that damn wedding. Oh yes, indeed. Yeah. Like, actually, yeah, if we stay here the night I can get all my spells back and and, and continue healing the party. I I need a lot of healing. <laughs> I look rough. I don't generally look rough. Last yeah. time I've been this rough, I uh, 
<laughs> I was set upon by many f a fire giant. Wasn't it when you were befouled by two Karen crawlers? Say that word again, and I will stab you through the head. <coughs> is it one word or is it two? Well, uh, my bad. You know, well, my sword and my magic are to your at your disposal. If only. Anyway. Let's go to that wedding. Yeah. Let's get some wine. I kind of had to chug the last bit of mine. So, uh. I need a refill. I suppose I might get lucky tonight, too. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, so you guys are taking back to your tent um, to refreshing up. And after a couple hours, um, Several people come in. Um, um, could you knock first? <laughs> I know it's a ten. Can't knock. Well, you can announce yourself. Um, yeah, three servant uh, women. Come in bearing small coffers. I like my chances already. Followed by the sheik himself. The ladies kneel, place the coffers up, uh, before each of you. Sonero, uh, Casimir, and um, Jer. Also, there's coffers for Dargar and Nash. Or Dargar and Ragnar. Yeah, ten, fuck Tenebrous. Well, Tenebrous is dead. Yeah, but they'll still give him the reward. Wouldn't they? Not that he can use it. <laughs> nah, they divvy it up in ours, you know. Yeah. They wanted to keep the box it was in. Oh, yeah. They open up the coffers. And inside is a small fortune of gems and jewels. Oh. So. Uh. Uh. About 2,000 gold pieces worth of treasure in each of them. So uh, you need to put me, uh, we're still uh, kind of backtracked on the treasury, according to Tenebris. And pulls ink and quill. From the and the shake goes, so we're turning my soon to be daughter. You all are my guests at the feast, at the wedding feast. Sounds fantastic. May I join you? Oh, sh Hmm, you must fuck. Oh, very well. Very well. That is so the kind of you.
Let's have a wedding. Let's get. What is this expression nowadays? Shit face? And, and I will never take this helmet off. Nice. What does it do exactly? The helmet it protects my face. Yes, that is obvious. But it's, does it have any particularities? It's a helmet. It protects my face. Okay. Hmm. Well. We should probably... Well, you should probably clean up a bit. It is a royal wedding. Looking at the poor, poor, poor adventurers who have been through so much. Well, I got most of my character sheet done. I just need to do the advancements. Uh, I'm not sure if we start with the proficiencies given through the rules, because then I have more proficiency, no weapon proficiencies. And I have a few questions about uh, fighter weapon, okay. we weapon proficiency, since I have a bunch of those to slid around. You guys go to the feast, and it is a sh um, the next morning. Well, the f wedding feast is that night, and you go to the and instead of going to the sheik's tent, they, they, they have a, uh, an opening out by the oasis proper itself, um, set aside, um, and there's various meats roasting on the fires. Um, Drinks being passed about, wines and meads and Did you say mines? Wine. Oh. Cause I'll blow them the fuck up. <laughs> Freak me out. <laughs> And there's ladies dancing, men showing off the prowess in arms. It just seems to be a good day all around, a good night all around. It's 
listener just makes sexy eyes at any uh, particular good-looking girl. <laughs> But then he makes him totally feel terrible by just turning down any request. <laughs> and for every sex, su sultry glance you glance at women, you get ten dagger glances at you by the man. <laughs> like, yeah, I can have any one, but I'm not going to. But I could. Well, if I feel so brazen to challenge me to a duel. No, that would dishonor the sheik. You guys are honored guests. <laughs> Can I move around? As imperceptible as possible, just taking in the sights. So after the big party, I guess we're gonna just gonna yeah we will go back to the tent. Sleep. The wedding will be in the next day. Okay, I can heal everybody up with the staff of healing tonight, and then use a couple more spells, and then tomorrow we'll have full spells. Woohoo! Who needs uh, a little healing? Me. And I. Uh... Scenario three. I'm yeah. hurt. I'm hurt so bad my lips don't touch anymore. JR6. That yeah, poor JR6 looks like Fire, Fire Marshal Bill. Yeah, Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> I forgot about him, yeah. The, the dog doesn't want to be petted by me. Okay, me, I get this much. Yay, too. I've just got a little bit of scarring left. Like, my face is pristine, but under my armor, it's just like... Just disgusting, city. <laughs> <laughs> And okay, I don't know if Ragnus or anybody else took any healing, but Nick, we'll, we can just catch him up later. And then let me see what I got for spell still. There's the shield. I can do a, a cure moderate and a cure light. Give me the heals. Put your hands upon me. <laughs> A cure light should do it for me. Should. Or for Jer. 
Ah, uh, um, better. All the scarring gone. Thank you so much. And then, da, 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 what do you call it? Um, it's a D10 plus 2, I think, for Cure Moderate. Yeah. Work. 11 for Sanero. Only 23 more hit points to go. Oh, well, that's right. You guys don't have access to tokens on the over on the upside map. I'm doing it in my character sheet. I had the macro for cure for the cure moderate, but I forgot you don't have the access to them without the tokens. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with uh right, if I can't click on myself, I can't do I can't do that. You'll have to hit me up in the morning. Yeah, in the morning I'll have plenty of spells. Tenebus shield can claim to provide one cure light wounds. All right. I then open up my sack that has Tenebris in it and just dump him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got good stuff. At the fucking party, we just start going over his dead body. Probably <laughs> <laughs> not the right diamond. This was his lower jaw, and this was his nose. Here was his tail. <laughs> was. As in not there anymore. Let's, uh... Well, it's late at night, right? Yeah. All right, uh, I'll uh, I'll carry uh, Tenebris off uh, into the uh, the desert with some uh, uh, high proof uh, alcohol. I'll get him down to. You know his uh, his holy symbol, if he has one. If I can find one. You do. Sweet. And anything else that has iconography on it and whatnot of uh, his god. And I, uh, I set up when I still like. Uh, Burial for him and whatnot, and uh, I pour out a drink for him, and then say, uh, "Tenebris, you sure were part of our group." <laughs> and then I walk away. <laughs> A shallow grave for Tenebris. A shallow grave at midnight. That's good. I then come back with all, <laughs> all your good stuff. Hey guys, look what I got. Oh my, what's that? Honor the dead, but fight for the living. <laughs> I paid proper respects to Ten Empress. Good evening. 
<laughs> Mark, I feel so bad. It's okay. <laughs> You're supposed to now. You're supposed to, yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to now. <laughs> You remember when I told you about that helm, did I? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I've been acting like an asshole. <laughs> well, the thing is, what makes it so sweet is you can only do it. You know, you know, you act like an asshole, so. I thought I was going to be a little more heavier than normal. He sorted. Exactly. Part of the group, I sorted out our treasure. We well. certainly were part of the group. Hey guys, look what I found! Well, Tenebris was not of the. Um, Yeah, it's just bury the dead with this stuff. The dead don't need it. <laughs> okay, well, is there any key uh, items that the party might need to pass around right now? Uh, give me a second. There's that shield that heals. Mm -hmm. That way heals the owner of the shield. Well, it's per day. Remember, just carried it around. You know, he actually used it as a shield. He just had it on him. How good of a shield was it? Medium. It's just a mm. Medium shield that could heal its owner once per day that has cure light wounds. But no pluses to defense. Nope. Mm. Then there is the viper stuff that you gave him. Viper staff? Yeah, remember we found the constrict snake staff. It was the, we found the constrict and I was like, well, Tenerus is no, no, neutral. So the, the poisonous one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, it's a, yeah. We, we, we did like a switch to mostly used by evil people. Uh, yeah, I've been carrying it around. We had the Viper variant of the Staff of the Serpent. Yeah, we switched them around. We have both of them. So now you have both of them. Oh, yeah, I've got the Staff of Python now. Right, right. And now you have the, the, the Staff of the Viper as well. Again. Sorry, I'm gonna... My... Roll 20 is being really bitchy. He's the plus one claws, the scimitar that the chick gave them. Which is plus one, plus three against undead. I do not remember which handle it had. That was not given to you by the sheik. It was found. No, no, the ones that the sheik gave us. We're not plus, we're not plus one, plus three, we're not dead. They were so, something against them dead. They we were uh, plus one scimitars, Bane versus undead. Yes, they were. Sorry, my mistake. Or Cemetery of Undead Bane. Never question the treasure, even in death. Okay, then there was his plus one claws. His plus two hide armor. Black. 
No, actually, no, yeah, black. He has some cash on him. You, he had a potion of healing. You gave him a bunch of scrolls as well. Just in case. Give me a second. The charcoal, the chalk, and the charred charcoal now. Because it's doubly charred. The silken rope, grappling hook. Wait, I'm not sure if I had a grappling. <coughs> a vial of werewolf blood. No thanks. Yeah, that was back when she who shall not be named was still around. Sure, I had a bunch of more stuff. You mean like six scrolls, I think, was the lay po uh, cure poison or something? Back when? Casimir. What's that? You, when, when we were going through the swamp or something, you gave me like six scrolls of, I think it was cure poison. Oh, yeah, I don't remember that. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was, we didn't use them again, so it's. Okay, I'll write them down then. Is that something a priest has to use or anybody can use? No, no, what's a priest? You gave them specifically to because I was a priest and I could use It was so somebody else could help. Was it it uh, neutralized poison? Let me check. Second. A vial of holy water, four vials of holy water, sorry. The iron spikes, 12, 50 feet of silk rope. Water skin, magic white, hide armor, five pairs of bolas. Four wooden uh, oak. Stakes made of oak, soaked in holy water. Three scrolls of naturalized po poison. Books of prayer, prayer of the night. Mirror, small shield. And a flask of healing. And... 570 gold pieces. Is that per person? No, no. On his person. It's per dead person. Mm -hmm. So, let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. Do I have any other weapons? 
No, and the plus one clause. Everything else was either on the. Oh, I need really. To, I really need to update that. This, so we got some treasure. Like the whole chic area. Like I have not added the treasure from that. Whatever went into a pool and what not. So Mark, if you could give me afterwards the total, so Gallivant will gallantly continue to Nerusis. Well, I can. Things. You know, that I have just a spell, which is to count things. Give you a rough estimation of how many of something there is. Yeah, that's all that 10% and those special claws, but you need like, it's like, you need a special proficiency to use them. Well, they might sell for a pretty penny. So the six potions were neutralized poison or slow poison? No, three scrolls of neutralized poison and one potion of cure. Of healing. One potion of what? Of healing und un uh, undetermined. It was one of those. Remember those that had like an earthen smell to them? Which were in a clay... I'm thinking. I think they're cure light wounds. Uh, I don't remember. We found it in the castle. Way, Way back when. Okay. Well, somebody's car is getting stolen. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Everything else is... Oh, yeah, the, the plus two hide armor. If somebody uses hide. That's in the material, not the
Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff which there's three potions we never identified, a scroll. Potions, bunch. Oh my god, we have a shit ton of things. Oof, this has not been updated in a while. Do we get dead room things back? Yes. Great. Okay, yeah, so after the wedding and there's another feast and celebration. Um, basically, that's going to be it, because uh, I don't have, I, I still got to get the next set, next part set up. And I got to get set up. <laughs> right. Uh, it's going to be a short one this week. That's, that's all right. Oh. Uh, we have the arm wrap. The, somebody's been... No, that's... that's... Gone. Yeah, the arm wrap is uh, was a single use or you know single a... single acquirable item. Did someone edit this recently? Wall chest, arm wrap, per peri up, lead box of powder, silver and gold box of same powder, two hot gems. Some of that stuff, I guess we still have to figure out what it is. Yeah, there's a bunch of this unknown book tab four, six, ten, eleven, and twenty vampire loot, three potions, shadow elves, chainmail, boots, cloak, mace, shield, ten ornamental, five fancy, one jewel quality jewelry. I don't know what the fuck the, that's from the Shadow Wells. So yeah, I need to get that. I need Ragmans to do the appraising. And if allowed, Galavan could learn some spells. That might help. But yeah. I'm guessing the last person who updated it was Deadrum. When they fought, they fought the Shadow Elves. So, yeah. We just need to. get that sorted out. I gotta sort out some things. Your character. Any suggestions on weapon? Since I am a dual class or multi multi class, I think. Uh, anything from the uh, Warriors handbook I should check out. I 
Well, I'll be seeing what you're going for. Excuse me? It all depends on what you're going for. Oh, oh. Yeah, but I, I read if you cannot specialize if you are... A... Great. Multi-class yeah. characters cannot, speci cannot specialize in weaponry. They have too much stuff to study. Okay. But they can't pick up some, like, some of the other stuff, like styles. Or... Yes, they can take styles and stuff, but they just can't take time to dedicate into a single weapon. Oh, okay, okay, I get that. So, yeah, I'll read, read up. I uh, just need to... So, the weapon proficiencies is your intelligence modifier plus your base when gave by your class, or is it... Warriors start off with four non-weapon proficiencies. They gain one every four levels. So I get the best out of the two. So... Right. Mages get one, 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 weapon, one weapon proficiency, gain one every six levels. Fighters start off with four, gain one every four levels. Yeah, but then that's non-weapon Fighters get three non-weapon and gain one every four. Mages get four. But get every... So yeah, so I have like at least five more weapon and uh, non-weapon proficiencies to deal with and four plus Five weapons. Yeah, weapon. Okay, I'll deal with that. I'll let you know. Mages okay. gain four, has off at four non weapon and gain one every three levels. So yeah. So. Plus any intel any for bonus for for bonus and for intelligence. Is that every time you gain gain new ones as well? No. Okay. Intelligence is on. Top of the initial. It's, yeah, it's the language bonuses. You can use this one or the other, right? Or a combination. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. Uh, well, I need to check on, read on that book and. Yeah, I'll, if allowed, I will be learning from that. Let me check. Yeah, I gotta, get, I gotta get the maps to the next one set up and find out how many of these other maps I have to use. <laughs> okay, after what, give me some, more or less how much time. Uh, so I can learn a bunch of, you know, detect magic and stuff like that. Those are given. Detect magic, cantrip, and read magic are given. It. Uh, what? Those are freebie spells. Those are given to every mage. That's not what I want. That's how I rule, because A, you need to be able to read magic to be able to, to, be able to write it. Okay, you need so to be able to detect magical, and our mage's learning, first learning tools are cantrip spells. Okay, send me uh, those three, and I need to pick. So you get uh, read magic, detect magic, cantrip for free. Just got that. On top of the spells that you've selected already. So I got detect magic. All right, we're gonna head out for the night then. Yep. 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 Good night. Thanks for DMing. Good night, guys. Good night. I'm out too. Okay. And then read magic. So Good night, everybody. Pick... Good night. One more first level spell from 
Chaos Fairy Magic for first level. Uh, watch it. And the godly amount of proficiencies. <laughs> Okay, Mark, uh, thanks for DMing. Uh, thanks for all, all the crap we had to go through this week. And I'll update that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I need to check. What is this called? The oh yeah, um, if I can learn any spells. Because I don't remember. I need to check how it works, and I'll, I'll tell you. And I ro I will roll. If you roll and fail, can you try again eventually, or? You that you fail the warning spell, you can't learn again to your raise level. Okay, thanks. Just okay, thanks. I'll see you when I see you. Oh, one more thing. Um, this, um, when you let me know when you have a moment where we can uh, fill up the racial stuff, okay? Because there's some, oh, okay, uh, I, uh, we like discussed, but we have a, have a, a bunch, okay? See you, thanks for the ending. Yep, no problem.
I'm back. Hello? Oh. Okay, um, looks like that's it for this week. Um, if you're watching, please like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Alright, bye-bye. Bye-bye.